What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to do an easy 3D effect inside your videos. Let's get into it. This effect is really not that hard to do and it adds a lot of dynamic movement to your videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up DaVinci Resolve. I've already got a screen recording right here. I think this effect looks best if it's a screen recording of some time, whether that's YouTube or your editor, whatever it is. Uh, I think it really adds a lot of dynamic movement to it. So we're gonna hop inside the Fusion tab. I know some of you are thinking, dear God, why the Fusion tab? It's the easiest to do. So we're only gonna need one node and we're just going to hit Shift space bar. We're just gonna look for DVE it's gonna bring that up we're gonna hit add we're gonna make sure it's connected right there it is and here we can start messing with it and it's still a 2d image but it's gonna work for what we need to do so in here we can zoom in which I think that should be fine you can also grab this and move it around which sometimes is a little easier for me and we're gonna make sure we're all the way at the beginning right here. I'm gonna grab the Y axis and I'm gonna turn it so we're already a little bit out of slant. And in here you can see we need to start moving it around because we've got some of the background spilling through. So we'll kind of place this where we think looks good. I think that looks good right there. We're gonna add a keyframe on what we're moving plus these just in case we need to touch them. Then we're gonna to scroll to right over here. I don't know, that should look pretty good right there. We're gonna go ahead and move this over we're gonna orient this a little bit differently, something like that. Kind of adjust this to where we think looks good. You can also mess with the perspective, but I do not wanna do that. We're gonna scrub back through. Yeah, I think that looks good right there. And then we're gonna come right over here to the end and we're gonna add one more set of keyframes and we are just gonna adjust this third one in a different spot bumps over here. I like that. I think that looks good. The only thing I don't like is it's a little rough. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the spline. We're going to click this, zoom out. We're going to highlight all of these and we're just going to hit this little curve tool right here and smooth it out. Now you can go in here to where the keyframe is. You can click on it and you can actually curve it even more if you wanted to, to make it really different. I think that looks a lot better. You can do it all through the spline, but sometimes I like just clicking straight on the keyframes and adjusting them and smoothing them out directly on the clip. Now, the last thing we could do is shut the spline off. We could go into the settings and we could add motion blur if that's something you are wanting. So I'm gonna turn the quality up to about eight, hop back in the editor, play that through, see how you like it. I think that looks good. And that's it, you're done. Of course, this is not gonna work for everything. If you're teaching someone something, I would not do this the entire time or they may get a little motion sickness, but that's a quick and easy way to make your videos, screen recordings, whatever you're doing, have a 3D effect on top of it without actually having to make it 3D. That's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below, subscribe if you're new here and you want to, you know, that'd be cool, whatever, it's, it's, it's cool. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant, I'll see you next time. Peace.